Hey guys! I wanted to take a quick minute to create a video for this year's Project for Awesome. If you don't know what Project for Awesome is, it's an annual event that happens on YouTube on December 17th, where video creators create videos talking about charities that they want to donate towards this holiday season. I wanted to take a quick minute to tell you guys about a charity that's been near and dear to me for the past couple years. Let me give you some background info. Every year, upon millions of children are born into this world. Unfortunately, though, not all of them are healthy. Dwarfism is something that affects everyone, from the United States, the United Kingdom, India, to Russia, and everything in between. There are three kinds of dwarfisms that are the most common. The first kind is diastrophic dysplasia, which affects 1 in 110,000 births. The second is SEDC, which affects 1 in 95,000 births. And the third one is achondroplasia, which affects 1 in anywhere from 26 to 40,000 births. The organization that I'm supporting this year, and have been supporting in the past years, is called the Potentials Foundation. This organization helps the families and those affected by certain kinds of dwarfism. They are Microcephalic Osteodysplastic Primordial Dwarfism, or MLPD, Type 2, 1 and 3, Meyer-Gorlin, and other non-specified kinds of microcephalic primordial dwarfism. It is estimated that there are less than 200 individuals in the world who are affected by MLPD Type 2 and they're more commonly known to be the smallest kind of little people. To give you an example, when they are carried to full term, they are typically born with a birth weight around 1,500 grams. To give you guys some perspective, that's about the weight of a camcorder. In reality though, not all these children are carried to full term, and their actual birth weight is more around two pounds, which is really tiny. And at their max height, they'll be around 40 inches or 102 centimeters. Because of their small stature, they have a lot of health issues, such as skeletal, vision, dental, and hearing. But they're also at a very high risk of having brain vascular complications, which can lead to aneurysms and strokes. Because of these complications, many of them throughout their lifetime are going to have to have dozens of very expensive surgeries in order to just help them survive. The Potential Foundation has three main goals. The first is to help facilitate opportunities for these families to meet together and to share stories and know that they're not alone in this world. The second is to provide critical information regarding to health concerns and special care. And the third is to further research efforts, anywhere from health concerns to special care to even classification. A lot of the individuals don't even know what classification they're under in the microcephalic primordial dwarfism because there's not a lot of research in there. Now, how can we help? Obviously, we can donate money to their cause directly at potentialsfoundation.org, which I'll put down below. But, there are three other ways that we can help them. One, we can buy items from their website. These items feature their brand, and also there are some items that are created by these individuals themselves. Two, we can also help by donating their frequent flyer miles. These will go towards bringing families together from all over the world, from the UK, bringing them to the US, or from the US, bringing them to the UK. And three, we can help spread awareness. These kinds of dwarfisms are commonly known, and even though they're the smallest individuals here, they're still very important to us. In summary, everyone deserves a chance in this world, no matter how big or how small. The Potentials Foundation is trying to give these individuals and their families a chance to find their true potential in life. And I want to help them too. DFTBA.